Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing fine. Today I will be showing you my highlighting and contouring routine using only powder products. I like to use powder products when I highlight and contour because it's easier, especially if you're a beginner, it's faster and it gives you a more natural result. Um, I also do highlight and contour with cream or liquid products, but it can be a little bit tricky. So I prefer using uh, powder products over the other ones. And if you want to see how I highlight and contour, then keep on watching. I have already applied my Tude House Primer and the Bourjois Vonto 3 Perfect Foundation. And to hide all my imperfections, I have applied this Bourjois Concealer. To set all this, I applied this Tony Molly Catswing Pressed Powder. Using my Jessup Tapered Face Brush, I'm applying the Bourjois Bronzing and Highlighting Duo in the shade 55 and for this step I'm using only the bronzer to warm up my face a little bit. I apply the bronzer onto my cheek holes because later when I apply contour it will make it easier to blend the contour with the bronzer and it will look better in my opinion. And this Bourjois Bronzer is uh, like a gift from heaven and it's called also the chocolate bronzer and as a chocoholic I just had to buy this because it looks and smells like chocolate and by the way it's a very very good and natural looking bronzer no matter how much you apply on your face you won't look muddy or orange now I'm warming my forehead and I try to concentrate the bronzer as close as possible to the hairline to brighten up some parts of my face I'm using this Korean light pink pressed powder and it's perfect for brightening the under eye area and I'm applying it under my eyes and bring it in. Well, I'm applying it under my eyes and bring it up towards my hairline to give the illusion of a lifted eye. Of course, I apply it in between my eyebrows and to the center of my forehead, a little bit onto my nose, my smile lines, and my chin. I look silly right now, but later I will dust the excess powder off. Using my Real Techniques contour brush and the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm, I'm doing contouring on my cheek holes. And first, I do this funny fish face to see where my cheek holes are. And just imagine a line from the top of your ear towards your mouth, and this is going to be your guideline. And um, I'm placing the brush on the top of my ear as close as possible to the hairline and bring it in circular motions towards the corner of my mouth, but I stop at the outer corner of my eye. When I feel that I don't have much product left on the brush, I extend the line just a little bit and stop at the center of my eye. I always apply the bronzer onto my jawline and just a little bit on my chin and with the product that is left on the brush I extend it um, onto my neck because I want a natural transition and this is uh, also going to eliminate the double chin, well at least that's what they say. Now I'm going to contour my forehead and as you can see I'm concentrating the bronzer again into the hairline and I blend it in circular motions. If you're not sure where to highlight and where to contour, just place your pointing finger onto your eyebrows and make a heart form with your hands like this. Everything that is outside the heart can be contoured and everything that is inside the heart can be highlighted. And this is the easiest way to understand highlighting and contouring. Here I'm using this Zoeva blush brush to apply my NYX blush in the shade Pinky. It matches my shirt, don't you think? <laughs> and I apply the blush uh, in between my cheek holes and my cheekbone and blend it well with the contour. And I place the brush somewhere at the center of my eye and bring it up towards my ear. And I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. And now to eliminate all the harsh lines, use a big fluffy brush and the blend and dust all the excess powder off. The key to a beautiful and natural looking highlight and contour is to blend, blend, blend until your arms hurt. With my Jessup Tapered Precision Brush, I'm going to contour my nose. Again, I'm using the same bronzer, the Bahama Mama. And I make two lines on each side of my nose. And with this trick you can make your nose look as slim as you want, depends on how wide apart the lines are. 
Some people like to apply a line across the nose, but I stay away from it because it would make my nose look shorter as it already is. And with this blending brush I'm blending the lines first in small strokes towards my eye and also on the other side. And after that I will blend the lines in up and down motions. To highlight the areas I want to bring forward and stand out, I use the Karen Photogenic Ball Highlighter together with my Jessup Tapered Highlighting Brush and I'm applying the highlighter onto my cheekbones in a C form as you can see and uh, also on the other side. With the product that is left on the brush I apply the highlighter to the center of my forehead a little bit on my nose and to make my lips look fuller I apply a little bit of the highlighter to my cupid's bow. So guys we are done with the tutorial, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned something new today. I will be listing all the products and brushes I have used under the video in the description box. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!